Well, you know, we were really good thing for about 28 minutes, and uh, we had some really good chances. The game opened up, and we loved it, and that, that's the learning curve that we're going through, and I thought we went back to the third period and got back to our first period of some patience to our game. But I like the way we played tonight. I think um, four and six is tough on the road. That's our ninth road game, and, you know, three of our four captains are out of the lineup, and I, and I loved our game. Speaking of that adversity, what does a win like this say about the character? Yeah, you know what? The willingness to play for each other. Uh, the bench was good. You, you get to the end of road trip, sometimes it gets a little quiet out there. The bench was good, and they were wired into the game, and we came up moving the right way. So they prepared themselves well today. They were they were ready to go. So many players were instrumental, but Brandon Montour is now at 10 points in his last 10 games without Aaron Eckblad. What can yeah, he, um, well, critical for, for one with Eric, Aaron going down. Um, Monty stepped up defensively too. He takes on the he and he and Portsling play against the other team's best, and he's produced two pucks to the net. I think he's building a patience into his game to find the right time to jump in, the right time to get active, and uh, he will find his points will increase doing it that way. Sam Reinhardt with a couple of goals on his birthday at that. Yeah, well, you know what? He's he's had so many chances to score, and it just didn't seem to go for him. And f his game has been right. We just felt. You know, sometimes going back with kind of something familiar. So he and Lundell are back together, and they kind of, uh, they just know where, to, they just know how to play off each other. So he gets some confidence and a couple goals on his birthday, so he gets to remember it. Two power play goals. How does that make you revitalize that area of the game specifically? Well, and we'd like to count one from the last night, they won't, and then one from the game before. So we fill. I figured it would just before Aaron Eckblad came back, the power play would figure it out, right? And then he'll come back and. Um, but confidence, your, your top 10 guys go on the power play offensively, and when they go on the, on the slide like we had, it really affects their entire game. I think this will boost their five-on-five -five game as well. Paul, how much of an adjustment was it with Matthew's suspension? It looked like he had to change all four lines. For the but what a great learning experience for our team to find something new. So uh, Lister Ryan and Bennett were really good together, so that's a place that we could go. Lombard comes off the fourth line, and I really liked his game. So now I think maybe I've learned something about the team that I didn't know before. Reinhardt and Lundell are a pair I should work hard to keep together because they, they were, they're, they're really good together. Um, and when, when Matthew comes back, I've got, a, I've got a different set of lines when Matthew comes back than I had a day ago. So there was a, there was a good learning uh, experience for us today. On a back-to-back, -back, especially when you find out a suspension three or four hours before the face-off, how much of an adjustment is that? It is a huge adjustment. Uh, we've, we've lost Hornquist, you know, one of our captains, to lose him. It's an adjustment. But I think we were looking, sometimes when you get to the fourth game in six nights, sometimes a distraction is a great thing, right? You can use that and... Because Ryan Lombard was all fired up for tonight's game, right? He gets off the fourth line. He gets to play with two really good players. He's he's strong. Bennett and Lister Ryan got on the ice, moved the puck around a little bit, and thought, hey, this could be pretty good for us. Uh, Whitey's been great for us this year, but now he gets a chance to play with Barkov. So there, we tried to build in some enthusiasm into this game after a tough loss last night after the suspensions, and we've had some injuries. So it was good for them. You know, you can find some in adversity. You always can find something positive. Are there any lessons you take away after that little lapse in the second period? Oh, yeah, for sure. The uh, We loved the way that game got to, right? The five minutes before we're up and down, and we had some incredible chances, and we were very, very happy, except for it wasn't particularly well played. You know, we opened ourselves up when we didn't need to, and, that, and that's, that's what we learned. Thank you. Thanks, okay, guys.